Hey y'all, hey, what is up? So y'all already know, we back in the original section. Hello, hi, hi, hello. Um, So y'all already know what time it is when we sitting in this chair and I got these headphones on, you understand me? It's a motherfucking reaction video. I know my life can get crazy Just remain solid and know that I got it Choose around the globe, we can fly private Change the time zone, switching up climate When the time touch down in the trap Never mind the hate, no, can we pop it? I'm rolling, I know that you rockin' I pitch you a Tina, tell you go shop She more the company, she a look cocky I really think that's how she got me All the way G is, you rockin' with me Okay, so I came up with my own compilation of Karen videos Cause yeah, it was a lot easier. Now, let me tell y'all, I reacted to this video, recorded the whole thing like a week ago and messed it up. I tried to use my other laptop and another screen recording app, whatever situation, and it was an ultimate fail. Never doing that shit again. Um, so I gave myself time to forget what the hell the video was even about so that I could react purely to it because one, it's hard trying to re-record a reaction video. It just don't be the same. It, it, it's just, it don't be giving what it's supposed to give. So I gave myself a little time, so I'm going to react to it. It's two videos, I believe. See, that's how you know I forgot, because the bitch can't even remember. But I know I got them off Instagram, off the Crazy Karen's Instagram page. So we about to get into it, okay? Real quick, right fast. Oh, before I get to do that, make sure you join the Patreon, okay? Because Patreon about to start getting more reaction videos on YouTube. Cause YouTube playing with a nigga money and I am not for it. Okay, they they playing with my watch hours and I'm not finna. That's a whole nother video, child. But let's jump into it. Make sure we record before we do that, cause <laughs> I messed this up again. All right, let's go. Can you please just go? Nope. Call the police. You wanna have your employee record me? Because you're being a little ridiculous. I was trying to resolve the situation and you just gave me an attitude straight off the bat, so. I don't even know who you are. Ghetto boy. You know what? Miss. I don't care. I asked for a manager. Okay. And that's all I asked for. Miss, how Ghetto old are you? Ghetto boy. Okay. I think you're old enough to. I promise you. Wait. Right. Right. What? The cops come if you, call 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 you really call the cops. I gotta. I think I got to call myself. I got to call myself. Did I still do? We're both tired of you. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let's run it back. Because they arguing over a $3 coupon. Let me, cause I had got stuck for a second. I got quit smoking. That's who straight off the bat, so. I don't even know who you are, ghetto boy. You know what? Miss. I don't care. I asked for a manager. Okay. How old Bitch, what? Miss, how ghetto old boy. Okay. None of your business. I think you're old enough. Yeah, to I promise you. Bitch, what? Come. The the cop cop hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Ghetto boy. Ghetto boy. That's ghetto. That's ghetto. Bitch, you ain't seen ghetto. Okay, cause ain't not, nothing about his vernacular make him sound ghetto. You you ain't seen ghetto. You want me to show you ghetto? Hmm. Do you want me to show you ghetto? Now, had that been me and she said ghetto girl, first of all, bitch, I'm about to whoop your ass for that rude ass comment you just made, but at least it would have been true. Okay, at least you would have been honest about the situation because if you want to see ghetto, bitch, I got your motherfucking ghetto. And look, don't let me have my nails freshly done because when my nails freshly done, bitch, I talk like this and I wish a motherfucker would. Playing with me in such a way, ghetto boy. Excuse? Bitch, you don't know ghetto. If you really call the cops, I gotta. I gotta. Okay. Right. Right. I have to call myself too. We're both tired of you. Okay. okay. Here's your All right. I didn't give you an attitude, so. I told y'all it's always the bad built ones, didn't Didn't I tell y'all it's always the motherfuckers that's bad built? Y'all gonna start sure, the number. It's all I asked for. I'm okay, the, the manager is right what? here, bro. That's like you're going back 15 years old. Okay. okay ghetto 19 boy. Years. Over what? Oh, she go in with the ghetto boy. It's all I asked for. And what difference does it make how old he is? Bitch, you are in my establishment. Please go in the back. I will. Okay. What makes you think we get him? Can we talk outside? Not baby. It's my, it's actually my that, right. Okay. So I work here, so this is my right to record. Okay, and I'm gonna I know my right. Back, please. Okay. No problem. No problem. Sorry, bro. We got a Karen here. I don't know what to say. Andrew. Miss, I don't know what the problem is, but if it's over $3, this is a little ridiculous. So it's nothing to do with $3. Oh, it's nothing to do with Karen. You listening even out here? I was trying to resolve oh, the situation. Resolve what? What are you trying to resolve? You're the one talking to me, baby. I'm not even talking to you. Resolve. Coming out here the way you are. 
You can tell by the way she dressed and had everything to do with that motherfucking three dollar bitch. She wanted her motherfucking three dollars off. Look at how she dressed. She don't shop for real. She look like me. <laughs> she put no effort into that motherfucking outfit. She actually doing better than me. She got jeans on. I wear tights. <laughs> like, ma'am, you worried about that three dollars. It's over the three dollars. You ain't one of them bougie Karens. You ain't one of them Karens with money. Your motherfucking ass want that three dollars off. You ain't fooling nobody. Talking me saying, fuck you, get out of here. I didn't even say that to at all. Really? I didn't. Watch that. Okay, hold on, pause. Why they be making up shit? Like, I don't understand. Two two things, two issues I got. And, hold on, I'm gonna cut it up a little bit. Because I do remember that this video is actually pretty low. Two things I got a problem with. Um, Why they be making up shit? Why, why, you, you said that he said, fuck you and all this and that, this and that. How come it's always some shit y'all making up? Like, it be shit niggas didn't even say. Like, they'll, they'll say, ma'am, I'm sorry, I can't honor your coupon. I wish we could, but we just can't. That's what was said. But in her mind, what she heard was, fuck you, we can't take this motherfucking coupon because we just can't, this whole expired, we ain't taking these no more. It's not, you can't use this on your order, bitch. That's what she heard. So that's what she gonna say he said. Now, had it been me, she probably would have heard that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that he said it in a in a calm tone or whatever the fuck they was arguing about. And then out of nowhere, she's like, oh my God, you're ghetto. Bitch, you ain't seen motherfucking ghetto. Number two, she had a problem with him recording in the beginning. This is the part I don't understand. For one, what pisses me off is when a motherfucker say don't record me and proceeds to record the person that's recording them. Bitch, if you don't want to be recorded, why would you start recording? I'll wait. Exactly. So when you go somewhere, you do know that there's a possibility that there's what's called surveillance cameras. So that means you are being recorded anyway. Whether you being recorded on the camera or on this phone, you are being recorded. I go into every establishment assuming that they got surveillance cameras. Again, y'all know I don't care if a motherfucker record me. Them the problems I got with that recording shit. Your phone was not plugged in. You're the system printing. Take your medication. I employ you. I'm your boss. Take your fucking boss. I'm your boss. You're a little piece of shit. Hold up. So, okay, again, I remember vaguely the video, but I'm looking at the caption. She mad because the Uber driver wouldn't let her use his phone charger. Bitch, what the fuck Uber you think this is? A Uber ain't no goddamn limo. I ain't got to let you use my motherfucking phone charger. Bitch, did you pay for it? Did you buy this charger? Because it's my charger. And nine times out of ten, if you in the back seat, then how in the hell is the charger supposed to reach back there? So then that means you got to put your phone either on the console or up here with me. And then you're going to fuck around and say, I stole your phone. That's what them bitches do. That's the type of shit that they be doing. I don't have to let you use a motherfucking thing. You gonna sit your ass in this back seat and ride to where we riding to, and that's it. It be some Ubers they be having water and shit, motherfucking snacks and shit. I see that's why I can't drive people around, cause baby, you ain't finna get none of that. You ain't finna get none of that, and you gonna have to listen to Anaya Lamise the whole time. I can't Uber. I ain't got the patience. I don't like humans. You not gonna bring that negative energy into my car. I do not fuck with that shit at all. And then she proceeds to say, "I employ you." No bitch, Uber does. You think, you think just because one person leave me a bad review or complain to Uber, I'm going to lose my job? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know how Uber works. But I'm guarantee you, first of all, if they see this motherfucking footage, you done for. Matter of fact, let me tell you, I remember now. I saw in the uh, caption or the update that she actually got banned from using Uber. So she got her account deactivated. And you need to take your medication, so you gonna assume I'm on medication? Bitch, I'm on medication. I, t I show you medication. You don't want to see me off mine. I'm sorry, say, I'm sorry, say what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, say what? What the fuck is wrong? Run it back, run it back. 
I run it back. What she say? <gasps> You a nigger with an ER with a er on it, and then you repeatedly said nigger, nigger, nigger. Bitches, you for real with an ER with a hard ER on it? It's bad enough if you say nigger, but you said nigger. We got a motherfucking problem. Cause now I got to whoop your ass for every letter in the alphabet. As many times as she would have said it, that's how many times I would have slapped the shit out of her motherfucking ass. Ooh, they be knowing which ones to try. And I respect this brother right here because he didn't put his hands on her. But Lord have mercy. <laughs> Listen here. Listen here. You you ain't finna say nigger to me. You ain't finna say nigger to me. Who is you calling a nigger? Who are you calling a nigger? That's learned behavior. That bitch been racist since before she was born. Her family racist. She was raised racist. Her daddy probably in the KKK. She said nigger with a hard ER on it. She meant that shit from her soul. Nigger. Multiple times. I got your nigger. I got your nigger. I'm gonna hang you from that goddamn tree. Just like <gasps> what the fuck is wrong with you? Especially, <clears throat> especially in an Uber. First of all, if I get in an Uber, nine times out of ten, I'm on the phone, I'm watching the video. I got about ten million people that got my goddamn location. Because if anything happened to me, you finna have a whole goddamn world coming for your ass. If I don't post on YouTube for a couple of weeks, especially if I don't post on Patreon, you gonna have some motherfuckers looking for me. Hold up, with Miranda. Especially Patreon. Tamika gonna send out a worldwide PSA announcement if she don't see me for a couple of days. I legitimately would have to say, y'all, I'm good. <laughs> like, the fuck? You don't get in no Uber with your phone dying, stupid. You gotta run the Uber. It's an app. Me, personally, I don't go nowhere. I got a battery pack uh, cell phone case. I have a portable battery pack. I don't go nowhere without it. And y'all know I got like five fucking phones. And, and I got at least three with me at all times. My iPhone got a bad battery. When I tell you, I got my portable my portable battery. I got my battery case. I got another battery case for my other phone. I got all my cords in my purse. No, Lord. No, Lord. And my, my phone ain't dying in here with you or anywhere that I'm going. I don't do dead phones because people can't see me. I don't do that. I don't know. Anything's possible. I need, I need to be able to access at least one of my phones, specifically my personal phone, because that's where my location is. That's why all my numbers are saved. Ain't nobody tell your dumb ass to leave the house with a dying phone. The last of the dying breed. <laughs> Her battery said, no more, no more. <laughs> say death is upon us <laughs> like bitch that ain't my motherfucking problem you should have prayed <laughs> Lazarus <laughs> come forth I'm going to hell in the handbasket for that shit <laughs> you should have prayed for God to give you some more battery okay cause that motherfucker died and it need to be brought back to life cause bitch I'm not finna give you my motherfucking charge you kiss my ass and all this grass I'm not finna do it <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck you. I paid for this goddamn charger. Hell, my charger this goddamn long. You want me to give you that shit can't reach in the back seat? And I'm not putting your phone up here with me. Hell no. That's a setup. That is a motherfucking setup. Hell no. Nah, I, I can't do Uber. I, both of these bitches just can fucking go to hell. I'm, I said it. I fucking said it. Especially the bitch that said nigger. Take your, your nigger saying white Karen fuck ass. My daddy was a part of the KKK and my mama low key was dating a black dude and didn't want my daddy to know but she was fucking niggas cause she liked niggas the same niggas that you like to call niggas ass the fuck on. I don't even know. I just came up with that shit off the top. I literally, y'all would not believe that most of the stuff that I say come off the top of my head. I don't think about shit I say before I say it. I just, it, that's just me. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look for some more videos on the Crazy Karen's page or the D.L. Hughley page so we can get these reaction videos done. Again, I say, Patreon probably will get more reactions. Okay. Patreon get a lot of shit YouTube don't get. Everything that's on Patreon is not on YouTube. I don't even give them videos first like that because it's no point because I'm posting it straight to YouTube. They get an entire different catalog. Entire different catalog. Unfiltered story times. We be live. We talk about all kinds of shit over there. We family over there. So I'm going to need y'all to go ahead. Okay, because I'm finna start doing reaction videos just for Patreon. So join the Patreon. And with that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Girl, you gave me your soul. Somebody turned your heart cold. I picked it up off that old town.